Hello and welcome to Lynchburg Live. I'm your host, Linda Smith. It's been a year since Tab O'Neill left Living in the Heart of Virginia. Tab is my guest tonight and he will be telling, about, telling us about all the exciting things he's been doing this past year. Tab, it's wonderful to have you back on Lynchburg you, Live. It is good to see you again. Now, to start out with, I know that you have been doing a, t a ton of things mm -hmm. in this past year. You haven't had any downtime, have you? Mm, Hardly. No, no. <laughs> now my wife is actually sitting off camera over here and I better say no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Can you just give us sort of a brief idea of the things that you've been doing and then we'll come back and talk about each one of them. Sure. Um, well, when I left living in the heart of Virginia, um, my, my contract was up and so I decided I wanted to pursue some other things. Gosh, I'd spent over 20 years off and on in various roles at WSCT, so I thought, okay, it's time to try something different. My focus was on art, uh, still is on art, but I also have a video production company and I've actually been doing a lot of commercial production and things like that which I hadn't anticipated that, but it's worked out really, really well. Uh, but with my art and so forth, that uh, led to me opening up a new art gallery in downtown Bedford, my wife and I, and it's uh, called The Art of Virginia, uh, a little play on what I previously used to be associated <laughs> with. And, uh, and that's what I've been doing. I've been, been swamp busy crazy uh, for this last year. Did you have any separation anxiety from living in the heart of Virginia, or did you have time to feel anything like that? Um, no, I really didn't. You know, I, I, as a matter of fact, one of the folks that I used to work with stopped by the art gallery the other day, and he and I were talking, and I said, you know, I really don't miss it. I mean, I do miss, you know, I miss being on your side. I, I miss right. being the one sitting there right. doing the questions and things like that, and I miss all the interesting and wonderful people that I used to interview and all the folk, you know, the great folks that I work with, but the actual process and the, and, and, and the, the nine to five routine and that kind of stuff, eh, I miss that so much. I can imagine. Yeah. You know. Now, in all the things you're doing, do you still have time to do your artwork? Mm -hmm. and yeah, um, I've not painted as much as I thought I was going to paint just because I've been so crazy uh, doing all the stuff that I do. Um, but I, I, I have done some painting. As a matter of fact, I was in for, I guess it was a three-week show at the Lynchburg Art Club. I had a number of pieces at the Lynchburg Art Club um, that I had painted during the past year. And uh, in fact, the other day at the art gallery, it was one of those Saturdays we've had recently where the sun, you know, sun was shining and the right. high was in the 50s, close to 60. I actually was at the art gallery and I drug it out into the sidewalk, not the art gallery, I drug it <laughs> an easel out onto the sidewalk and uh, I didn't have any brushes or anything with me so I actually did a large painting I think it was a, uh, about a 24 by 36 inch canvas actually painted with my fingers and it was a scene of downtown Bedford and the folks down the street from us at uh, the Bedford Country Store loved it so much that uh, they ended up with it down there. Wonderful is that the one with the mountains in the background? Mm -hmm. Yeah because I think I have a picture of that that oh, we're going to okay. show tonight. Oh, cool. I pulled okay. it off of your Facebook page. Oh, oh neat okay. <laughs> All right so do you have any future plans? Uh, another show coming up that you want to tell anybody about or I'm good, well, I'm going to be doing some videos uh, actually originating from uh, the Art of Virginia, and uh, these are going to be, I'll be doing interviews with the various artists that are in there talking about he or she, how they do what they do, and those kind of things. Very similar to what you do, and very That's similar to what I used to do. It'll be just a, be a web broadcast. It'll be both on YouTube, as, as you put your videos out on right. YouTube, as well as our website, which is artofvirginia.com, and those will be starting in February. Now you mentioned relative video productions, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's a really interesting thing yeah. that you're doing. Can you you want to tell us about that? Sure. Well, rel the the original idea or the original thing I was going to do with relative video productions were family history videos. And we've done one. Uh, we've done one completed and one that's been shot. That's actually my family's, uh, my wife's family. Um, it didn't really take off as much as I thought it would. I was hoping. You know, it's. It's so expensive, video production is. I mean, you know what it takes yes. to put a, put a show together. Yeah. People don't realize, you know, you got all the cameras, you got all the people behind the scenes, exactly. you got all the hours of editing and that kind of stuff. So doing the family history videos, it just turned out that it was going to be a little too pricey for most people. Uh, still available to do them, and I still would like to do those, but obviously I need to cover uh, cover my expenses too. Right. Um, so I ended up just kind of fell into doing uh, television commercials and things like that. And uh, Betty Davidson and Estate Specialists and and uh, uh, Hill House Interiors and in, in, in Amherst. I mean, all these wonderful people have had an opportunity to meet and go out and kind of do what I used to do. I'll do interviews with them right. and things like that and put it together as a TV spot for them. I had read that you had done Estate Specialist mm -hmm. and I thought that was really interesting yeah. that you're doing commercials now mm -hmm. that this, you know, from what you started at, that it's branched out in, in so many other areas. Yeah. 
I, do you travel outside of Lynchburg to do this oh, as yeah, a rule? Yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I did a shot uh, shoot down in uh, Martinsville uh, just before the holidays. Uh, I think it was uh, early December. Um, I've done some shoots elsewhere throughout the area. And uh, as a matter of fact, I have more possibilities down in Martinsville and also Danville as well. So just kind of travel about. And I, and I do these very similar to the way I used to do them where, where you know I'll interview the person that I'm talking to about his or her business, what they do, and then basically create a testimonial spot for them. Oh, I think that's just so cool. Yeah, yeah it's fun. I enjoy uh, it. Do you have people who work for you or with you, or are you just totally independent with right, this? Right now, it's a uh, one-man band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like you that. know, because I've had I've, one of my clients, uh, wonderful company. Um, do you mind, can I say the company's name? Sure. Okay. Uh, Evergreen Basement Systems. Shauna Parsons, the owner of Evergreen. I've done some spots for her and had a wonderful time doing them for her. And she is a she is a cool lady. If you've not had a chance to meet her, her business ethics, the way she does her job. And she asked me, okay, is this like a retirement thing you're doing, or are you really starting a video production company that's going to last beyond you? Right. I thought that was a really interesting way to ask that question. Is it something I'm just going to do, and then when I'm done doing it, it goes it away? Gets, right. Or am I going to create something that's going to last beyond me? And actually, I don't know the answer to that. You know, somewhere, on, it may have been on your website or Facebook page, I read that you're using this as teaching tools mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. So. As far as the. Uh, the video. The video? Uh-huh. Um, in what in what context? Refresh my memory. Um, it just I okay. remember. That's okay. No, I remember yeah. seeing something that uh, you had made a video and that somebody was using it to teach. Oh, a company or oh, something. Yeah. Was oh, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, I'll do some corporate videos and things like that as well. And so, uh, I've, uh, Jay Crew, for example, is one of my clients. I've done some productions for them that are not for broadcast, but they're used for educational purposes, training purposes, uh, motivational things. You know, those kinds of things. Yeah, it's all right. I didn't catch on with you. That's yeah. all right. I, I probably didn't say <laughs> okay. it very well. Well, they did great. Uh, if somebody wanted to contact you, do you mm -hmm. have a website, or how would they contact you for a um, video for for any of these? things that we well, do with this we video have, uh, production. Relative video productions dot com, tab O'Neill dot com, <laughs> art of Virginia dot com, uh, otterbottom LLC dot com. <laughs> I can be found all over the place. Okay. But uh, Facebook is actually one of the best ways to reach me is just uh, just friend me on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's you know, a, a really good way. I found lots of stuff mm -hmm. out about you on there. <laughs> oh no. I knew lots of stuff anyway. Um, uh, and it was right before Christmas that you opened up the Art of Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, tell us about it. What inspired you to do this art gallery? As, as if I didn't know, I think your own art. Well, we, my wife and I kind of talked about it. She comes from a background of artists, uh, both of her parents being artists. Her dad actually had spent his, uh, spent his uh, working life in, a, in an art gallery, museum gallery uh, in Racine, Wisconsin. And one of my clients, Jim Messier, he is the owner of Arthur's Jewelry, and I'd done web work and video work for him. And he knew I was looking for a location to house relative video productions, because um, I'd been running studios, uh, studio work from, uh, from my home in Bedford County. And he invited me down to look at this building he had. And I'm like, Jim, this, it's right on Bridge Street, right next to him, beautiful right. storefront. And I said, you know, there's no way I can just turn this into just a service and not have customers coming in and out of here. So went home, told my wife about it. I think this was a Wednesday or a Thursday. And the next day, uh, or maybe two days later, I told Jim, I said, you know what, we're going to open up an art gallery. We'll do relative video productions out of here, but uh, we want to take advantage of the space and turn it into an art gallery, and that's what we did. It's a great space. I oh, mean, yeah. It really is. Well, it was <laughs> a lot different when we first got it. Yeah. You and Nancy did most of the renovation on that. Oh, we did all of it, uh, yeah. yeah it, it? Had been, it had been a uh, martial arts studio, and when we went into it, not that they trashed it or anything like that. It was just it was a martial arts studio. Um, there was 40-year-old carpeting on the floor that we had to take up. There was uh, this this really ugly ceiling that I totally redid the ceiling in it. Um, we, we put a fair amount of hours and money into it to turn it into what we hope and is a, a really nice experience down there for us. So this is the reason uh, that you did this in Bedford? Yeah. yeah. Well, it, that and I am a big believer. As a matter of fact, um, I posted something on my Facebook page today as we're having this conversation. It said something along the lines, you know, everybody is talking about small business and how important small businesses are, why are the parking lots at the malls so full? Right. You know, now there is a place for the mall. I shop at the mall. We all do. We exactly. all shop at the big box stores. But a lot of people don't realize the resources we have in small business, whether it's Main Street Bedford, Main Street Lynchburg, Main Street Alta Vista, or Amherst, or any of those locations. And we just wanted to be a part of that experience. We have our gallery, um, 
living in the art of living in the art of Virginia. There we go. Hey, that's good. Actually, I own that domain. Uh, <laughs> we have our gallery, Art of Virginia. Uh, we have uh, Goose Creek, which is another gallery down there. Uh, we also have uh, the Artisan Cafe. We've got the Bedford uh, Hardware Store, which has a gallery upstairs. Uh, we've got the Bower Center, which is a museum, a gallery, um, a, a location for education of the arts. So Bedford is really kind of congealing into a really neat little arts community. And, and Bedford is such a nice place. Mm -hmm. And you know, for artists, it's just a, a canvas waiting to be painted because of all of the mountains and the beauty of the area, yeah. I think. Um, you brought some pictures, and Phil, if you'll put the pictures up on the screen, we'll get Tab to tell us what they are. Okay, well, we'll take a look and see what you... Uh, actually, behind us during our conversation, oh. you actually had us all, the blue screen right. over, over the gallery. This is the uh, exterior of the gallery. Of course, uh, the logo there prominently, the Art of Virginia. In the window there, uh, that uh, painting that's really kind of jumping out there with the orange and blue, that's actually one of my pieces. Uh, we have approximately... I believe, Nancy, about, or about a dozen, 17 artists represented oh, in the gallery wonderful. at the present time. Uh, we, oh, and it's funny. The wedding dress is actually not in the I art see of Virginia. <laughs> that's, that's a reflection of it was the, like the uh, car. Uh, Alpha and Omega, which is uh, uh, a gale, this wonderful lady across the street from us who has this really cool little wedding shop. And uh, as a matter of fact, her sister is an artist, Dorothy Meaden, uh, and uh, she is in our uh, gallery as well. And you got your next one up there. Oh, are you in? You I are, am in you, there. Yeah, you are in that. There, there you go. <laughs> Over a third from the a third from the right. This was our right. ribbon cutting that we did with the uh, Lynchburg Regional Chamber of Commerce. That was our first day open. It was. It was, it was kind of awkward, and I, I don't think Nancy might be saying, we, we had been in the gallery working, we had an opening date. My wife was injured in a fall in the gallery, quite severely injured actually, and that set us back a couple of weeks, or actually more, the, more like a month, and I believe when we did this opening, you can't see her cast or anything like that, but she was standing there with a fractured arm, broken ribs, uh, recovering from a concussion. That kind of set us back a little bit, but uh, this was a neat ribbon cutting in which we had a lot of wonderful people show up, including you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a really good day. And uh, I'm not sure what next. Oh, well, who was that guy? <laughs> uh, that is some of my work. This is actually from the Lynchburg Art Club. And I just wrote, boy, you should have told me you were going to have that picture up there. I'm wearing oh, the same color. Sorry. I'm wearing there. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. Um, this is uh, you know, some of the paintings that I have there. The two on the, t on the right of the screen there that are kind of matched. That's actually a set of four paintings that I did in the basement of the gallery. These are actually the paints used on the walls and on the trim in the gallery. I just thought it'd be so that's much fun, so that's actually house paint that I used on those paintings that are there. Cool. Yeah, and I call them purple rain because of the dripping kind of purpley color that's in the background there. And do we have more? Ah, um, this lady's work down at the bottom there, the very bottom, just peeking up from the bottom of the screen there, that's Dorothy Meaden. She, is, she spent some time uh, overseas and she brought us some beautiful oils, which we've sold a couple of them. Uh, wonderful work and above that hanging on there is a three-dimensional tile piece that is actually done by, and I'm gonna get Nancy, yeah, Bonnie Kinnaird. Bonnie Kinnaird did that piece for us. And then there's mine again in the background there. We've got some, uh, we've, got, we've got pottery, tile, uh, acrylics, oils, all kinds That's of things. That's what I was going to ask you. What, what were you going to have in the shop besides pictures hanging? Um, everything that we can, uh, well, here, here's another shot with uh, some pottery in it some photographs so we do I was surprised because some people said oh, you know, photographs who will buy a photograph I actually sold, sold uh, a fair number of photographs because we've got some really good photographers there uh, we've got some concrete art uh, we are looking for we don't have yet we're looking for textiles jewelry, uh, blow and glass, um, metal arts, sculptures, uh, uh, pretty much would like to get anything and everything in there. Um, we do have some individuals that select the artists. This is all a consignment gallery, meaning okay. that uh, every, cons uh, every artist that is in there has placed their work in our hands for us to represent them and sell their work for them. They place it on consignment. But we don't take just anyone. We've got a good cross, and, and there may be some really wonderful people out there, but their genre is just not quite what fits right. for our gallery, because we want to be different. I don't want to go out and do the same thing that Goose Creek right. is doing or the other folks down the street. I want to be complementary to what they're doing. And, uh, oh, uh, that was a video production that we did. Uh, actually, some friends of ours, uh, she was did a, um, a piano recital in a home in the Boonesboro area, and we actually went out and did a video of this wonderful girl's uh, a piano performance about a 45-minute performance of classical piano music, and uh, actually not only had my camera on the ground there on the sticks, but had my tripod or my boom camera out there shooting down from above at uh, at, at the keyboard while she was That's playing. Cool. That was fun. 
Yeah, what else do we have here, if anything? They come over. Um, oh, you know what? This is, ooh, this is kind of scary, actually. This is almost taken from the angle from the position in the gallery in which my wife fell from. Uh, she was about 14 feet up on a ladder uh, when she fell. Uh, but this is us in the process. I have already completed uh, the ceiling work, putting in the light grid, which is very similar to a studio, uh, studio lighting. Uh, obviously, I have some familiarity with studio lighting. Um, the floor that we discovered beneath that, that was underneath all that carpeting. Can you see how it's got the chevron pattern? Right, it's in, beautiful. In, yeah, it was stunning floor. And we, we decided not to do a complete finishing of it, refinishing of it, you know, complete sanding down to fresh wood. You can walk around the gallery and you can see the ghosts of the previous usages in the gallery. You oh, can see where yeah. the path of traffic used to be. and where Right, I remember. Yeah, really neat. <clears throat> There's another one there. Oh, that, oh, there I am. Yeah, that's when I painted outside uh, <laughs> on that on that beautiful sunny day, and I did all that with my fingers, finger painting. These are some of the ones I grabbed off of your, <laughs> your Facebook, of my Facebook page. page. Um, I have to learn how to do that. Um, do we have some more? I'm not sure if we got more. Yeah, there's a shot of yeah. that one. And that, that was that's before it's completed, but the building on the left, uh, once it's completed, is more obvious that it's actually the art gallery. Next to us, the building in the center, is Arthur's Jewelry. Uh, there's actually another building in the middle there, but I wanted to skip down to our friends at uh, the, uh, the Bedford Country Store, and that's the building that's on the right. Then, of course, the Peaks of Otter in the background. And back to the gallery. That's one of our uh, most recent shots. I think we filled up the lower space on the left. Over on the right is also filled up now as well. In fact, we just had uh, two new artists, two new artists, I believe, come in this week. And you said you have, have how many? Fifteen? Around fifteen? About fifteen to seventeen artists That's right wonderful. now. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And uh, these are just phenomenal men and women who are bringing this in. One of the things, if you don't mind, can, can I can I Please. do a little plug for something we're going to do at uh, at the Art of Virginia? Um, we know a couple of high school students, college students, uh, who are just phenomenal artists, and we want to support them. So one of the things we're doing is if a high school student or a college student would like to come into the gallery, show us their work, if we feel that we can do a good job for them, we will represent them, put them in the gallery, and we will not charge them. That's wonderful. They will not have to pay the gallery fee whatsoever. Um, as a matter of fact, my wife and I were talking in the car just a little while ago, and she said, well, we've got to do taxes on that. I said, well, well, we'll pay the taxes on it, too. No, we're, you know, they, they get 100% of what they get, and we'll pay the sales tax on it because we want to support them and and you know give them an introduction and support um, their entrance into in, into professional arts and doing something like that for them you know that may mean the difference between them going on and doing a career having mm -hmm. a, a full bone blown career in art mm -hmm. uh, that they might not have had if if you hadn't taken the time mm -hmm. to to show interest in them and I think that's yeah. really great and it doesn't matter the kind of art we've got one young lady um, uh, from a local high school that we've spoken with who does kind of a fantasy anime kind of art with pen and ink. Um, beautiful, stunning stuff. And, and they don't have a lot of money. They can't get a friend. So you're fine. You bring your art in. Let's sit down with you and your parents. I mean, if we need to mat it for presentation or whatever, you know, we'll help you out to do that. We've got other artists who do oils, who do pencil sketches. Uh, I mean, pretty much all the media. And, uh, you know, they can just get in touch with us. And, uh, again, it's the same kind of criteria as with the other artists. We just want to make sure that we can do right by them. And so if they're if if their genre matches, then we'll, we'll bring them in. How would somebody get in touch with you? Um, the Art of Virginia does have the website, which is artofvirginia.com. Okay. Uh, okay. We also have iShop at artofvirginia.com for That's the cool. email address, so they can get in touch with us there as well. Are you, is Sarah, selling anything online? Or uh, not yet. The website that okay. I, we're just completing, uh, which uh, the website as we speak is not live, but it should be live by the time your program airs. Uh, we will have that uh, uh, that module plugged in eventually, probably sometime in February for online sales. That's great. Yeah. Um, now, are you and Nancy, one of you or both of you, in the shop every day? Yeah, at the present time, our winter hours, um, I'm there from 11 to 5, Tuesday through Friday, and then uh, usually both of us are in there from uh, 10 to 3 on Saturday as uh, we progress into the warmer, uh, warmer uh, months, uh, weeks, uh, we'll expand those hours. I've noticed that you've had some live entertainment in there. Was that just for the opening or, or during the holidays, or is it something you plan to continue? Something we plan on doing. Uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we had uh, some, some from uh, one of the performers with uh, Riddle on the Harp. She came in and played the right. harp for us today, or the, or the, the other, the couple of weeks back. That was a lot of fun. It's something that we want to continue to do. As a matter of fact, and I know I keep saying these folks down the, down the sidewalk from us, but uh, the folks at the Bedford Country Store, they've kind of got this thing going where most Friday nights they're bringing in entertainment, and we're looking at doing something similar, maybe not every Friday night, but uh, maybe once a month or something like that. In fact, one of the things that I've spoken with a number of artists that I want to do is have a performance in which we combine art with music. So we'll have 
uh, a small band, a combo, a trio, whatever it may be, and we'll have the artists there painting live to the music. Artists. And we might even go as far as doing a challenge. Okay, this song you're going to do, well, guitarists can play Stairway to Heaven. That's seven and a half minutes long. Uh, so that artist has to complete that piece in seven and a half minutes. Or we've got somebody up there who's going to do, do, you know, whatever it might be, some broke piece of music that's, that's two and a half minutes long. Well, that artist has that challenge to sketch something together in two and a half minutes. It's something like that is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. I think that it will be a big draw to get oh, yeah. people in there. Uh, and something else, are, are you planning on having authors and poets come in and do a readings or book signings or anything like that? Have thought about it. Um, as a matter of fact, I had somebody the other day send me a uh, Facebook message asking when I was going to release my book. I made reference to it some time back. And we, and I, 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 I didn't know you'd written a book. Yeah. I don't have any book well, questions yeah, well, for you. I, well, I, I, that one is, that, that one is, is, is not complete, I, I, unfortunately. I had hoped that it would be. Uh, but I have written uh, a lot of poetry over the years. And uh, I shared some with someone who said, you know, I needed, needed to get that published and, uh, and you know, put it in the store or something. We may do something like that. Um, we've thought about it. We don't have any specific plans, but if we have uh, poets or writers, we do represent, we have a couple of uh, musicians in there uh, that uh, whose DVDs are available there. And the key is, it's the art of Virginia. So everything that we carry has to originate or have some tie to the state of Virginia. At the present time, uh, every artist who's represented in there either currently lives or is from uh, the state of Virginia. That's what I was going to yeah. ask you. If, if it was exclusively mm -hmm. Virginia artists, yeah. then I think that's a good thing, yeah. too, to, to highlight the people that mm -hmm. are around you. I, yeah, and I, I think that's, you know, that's just not, not, a mar just not a marketing shtick for us or anything either. I mean, it's something that, you know, we strongly believe, both my wife and I, we strongly believe in supporting the local community. And that includes the men and women who are out there uh, uh, involved in the arts force. I mean, you know, we, I mean, can I get on a soapbox? Please. Okay. Um, this is your yeah. opportunity to tell us about what <laughs> well, you're I mean, doing. I mean, we can go down to, you know, we can go to the big box store. And again, there's a time and place. I shop at the big box store. I got reward, reward points at the big box store, so I'm going to go use them. Uh, there's a time and a place for them. But Let's say you go to a big box store and you spend hundred dollars buying one of these paintings, and they'll say hand, you know, hand right. done painting. Well, this may be coming out of Asia or South America, most often Asia, and it's hand painted by maybe a dozen people. Somebody did the background, somebody did the foreground, somebody did a tree, somebody did a dog, whatever it might be. And there's skill, just like any manufacturing line or process, there's skill in doing that, but there's not quite so much talent right. in doing that. And you buy that painting from the big box store, spend a hundred bucks on it. How much stays here locally? Two bucks, three bucks, five bucks maybe? I mean, you know, very, very small amount of it. You come to the Art of Virginia or any local gallery or any local store, uh, but particularly the art galleries because the work is created, the products are created right here. You spend $100, all of that stays here. I mean, we have our percentage, that percentage stays here. We spend it on lunch down the street or we spend it on gas down the street at a local gas station. The artist, they, he or she spends it here. Um, yeah, that's a really positive way I think people can step out and support local community. Yeah, I think it really is too. You know, people, you want people to buy American mm -hmm. and, and yeah. to support your community. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm sort of rushing because yeah, yeah, please got go ahead. Five yeah, minutes, I, yeah, I saw you got your but, five minutes uh, there. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you about the voiceover. Mm -hmm. that you do. Do you still do those? Um, not so, well, I, I've been doing some of them for some of my video clients, uh, my video production clients, but I've actually not been doing as many of those uh, for uh, for third parties as uh, I've just been so busy with all the other stuff. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. For, for our audience who doesn't know what a voiceover is, can you just tell them? Got to up now. Okay. It's this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the voice that you do. And I don't know why they call it a voiceover, because you're watching television. Where we are? Here's our camera. You're watching television, and you hear the voice. The voice is actually under the video, so I never could understand why they called it a voiceover, Over. but it's the voice that's under the video. Well, you certainly have a wonderful voice oh, for you. doing that. Um, would we recognize any, or, we, or if you told me you did a voiceover for something? Uh, well, let's see. I've, I've got some voice on the state specialist stuff right now. I've got uh, there's a handful of local spots that uh, that they might recognize me. And well, and there's also. Do you think Nancy, I can talk about this next adventure that I've got coming up? I guess I can. Um, um, I've been. I've got some friends, at, and I've always been a, a, a an avid NPR listener, WVTF listener, and I know Rick Mattioli over there. And he and I were talking the other day, and I stopped by and visited. And uh, looks like I may be popping in and doing a little classical music uh, hosting 
in announcing for Wonderful. him from, from time to time. And uh, I, I love all genres of music. I mean, I can, I can go from Bach and Beethoven to, uh, uh, to Lady Gaga in the same hour, which drives my <laughs> wife nuts. Uh, but I like all genres of music. And to have the opportunity to, uh, uh, to rub elbows with some of the wonderful people they have over there, uh, Steve Brown and uh, the other folks they have at WVTF and doing some classical announcing, um, looking forward to that. And that will be coming up in the next month or so. So you absolutely have not just been sitting around no, trying to no. find something to do. No. All right, Tab, let me ask you one more question. If you could sum up this past year, what it means to you, what would you say? Hmm. The effect it's had on you? Yeah. It's been different, uh, less secure. Uh, you know, anytime you I give up know. that paycheck that comes rolling <laughs> into your bank account on the 1st and 15th of each month, uh, it's been exciting. It has been it's been a blessing. I mean, not every individual has the blessings of his or her spouse to venture off like right. I do and to, to have his or her support like I have in, in, in the role that my wife plays in what I do. And somebody today, I was talking to this fellow who works at a, uh, I was gonna say a competitive television station, none of them are competitive now since I don't work <laughs> for any of them, uh, but he works at another television station and he was asking what I've been doing. And I told him and he said, man, because I was sitting in, my, in the gallery at my video editing computer I have in the gallery. I had the gallery behind me, had gallery customers there. I was doing some video editing. I was talking to this guy about some web stuff and we were talking about WVTF. And he said, man, you're just living a dream. You get to do everything you want to do. And, you know, I mean, I need to get paid for it so I can pay my bills, but it's, it has been, been a bit of a dream, I guess. I think it's wonderful that you're able to do this and you have so many talents that you're able to explore those talents. and and see them come to life. Well, thank you. I appreciate and it. And I do thank you so much for being on the show. And please come back because oh, people ask me all the time if I know what you're doing and now they know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. Give me a call anytime. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's show. My next show will feature Paul Fitzgerald discussing his involvement with a local academic mentoring program. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.